Hello guys and welcome to our next video tutorial about using Python uh, Async IO and OpenCV. Uh, from starting this video, we are going to use uh, Async IO extensively and update our mm, project gradually step by step. Now uh, let's start uh, to convert our uh, existing project in code base uh, and add some uh, asynchronous code support. So we have some change we need to make and uh, I'm going to start with video uh, async.py file. Uh, there's a class uh, multi, multi camera uh, capture and what we need here is first of all is like importing async IO then making this read frame async um, the next step is adding async uh, def show frame function and uh, what uh, this function will accept a window name so it's a type str string and the frame itself uh, and this is a type of numpy array and import numpy as oops, as mp should do the trick mm, right and the it's just showing this uh, window and window name and the past frame and also this is a it can be a static a method another change for video async.py file uh, we are going to make uh, some async generators uh, to read uh, the ca camera name and the captures from this uh, dictionary uh, it's needed for uh, the usage of the async for loop so that's why I'm going to add this async async camera generator and what we have oops and for camera name and the capture object in self captures items I need to yield the camera camera name and the captured object and then we can uh, async io sleep for some uh, dummy amount of seconds so this is a change needed for our multi capture multi camera capture class uh, another change should be in uh, the main pi the main pi file uh, i'm going to restructure this uh, the calling procedure uh, here so basically we need this while to inside the uh, async main uh, function so async def main uh, the captured object the captured object and uh, let's just add here this capture object uh, we need to of course import the async io and basically we are going to call this async io run uh, this m uh, with this main function and pass this captured object to the uh, main function uh, so the captured captures items uh, mm, what we have so yeah yeah so we have added this async camera gen then we are going to use it here so captured object and call this function with async for nice as a reading frame is asynchronous so we need to oops we need to await uh, this function here so we we made it async so we need to await uh, 
So adding timestamp to the frame uh, can be also the async function. Uh, let's, let me see if we can. Yeah, easy. So, and again, the import async io. Uh, this is a change needed to this uh, file. And uh, what we have left, of course, so we need to await this add timestamp to um, to frame uh, yeah to frame function and for im show so for i make show uh, we have added this show frame so we need to await itself also so await this captured object and show frame uh, passing here camera name and the frame and the frame itself so we don't need this anymore let's save uh, I think yeah that's uh, as a change what we need here also I've added uh, the blocking time sleep the, uh, the half second here uh, because I want to add some extra uh, extra lag extra blocking code blocking uh, IO to our uh, code and it should work should work so what the main what we have left here nothing let's just test it if our async support will work or not yeah uh, it it has started but uh, as you see the core problem is still exists so uh, adding uh, just uh, this uh, async uh, keywords will not solve uh, the problem so we have still this uh, lag we have still this lag between the frames and when we apply uh, the face detection eye detection it takes some time and also we have added some time sleep so uh, all this code is blocking code and that's why we have such uh, slow frame and the lag uh, between grabbing and showing to the user. Uh, that's it for this video. So you are going further, changing our project, uh, uh, doing some changes that uh, in, in order to solve uh, our core problem. So see you in the next video. Yeah, bye.